Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Ape Poncho, back at you again with another video. So, as you guys know, recently I've been covering a lot of crime stories, but I've not really been covering drill news. Now, granted, my last couple of videos have been drill and music related, but the only reason I haven't been covering it, which I have mentioned before, is just because there hasn't been much news recently. So, I know some of the stories today that I'm going to be doing are a few days old, which I have posted them on my community tab, but because I now put multiple stories into one video, that's why some stories, again, are going to be a few days old, but I still want to share them for you guys who haven't seen them yet, and I also want to give my thoughts on it as well. And with that being said, it looks like old Drill Lowski is back after his recent run of Fabio Foreign New York Influence Drill Music. So as you guys know, there was talks of Lowski being in jail, but if you remember, we was discussing how because he was being very active across social media, that the rumour was more than likely false, and it now seems like he's got a son coming out with Mo Stack, after Mo Stack had posted this on his Instagram. 90k likes and now fuck up Drew, with of course a picture of Lowski. Now you might be asking yourself, well, how do you know if old Lowski's back by just that picture on Instagram? Well, if we head over to Twitter, he posted the same picture, but this time he posted it with this caption. Old Lowski is back. Remember, I told you this. So it seems like Hazard's Lowski could be back, which, in my opinion, is the best Lowski. So I'm looking forward to this one. I'm not gonna lie. Now, his newest stuff, I'm a fan of it too. Like, I do like how he's been kind of versatile with it, giving the Fabio Foreign New York drill sound a go. And to be fair to him, He's actually not that bad at it, but let's all not lie to ourselves. It's just not the money and beef or Teddy Brook shot Lowski now, is it? But back in April, he did tweet out this. I don't know how I made songs like Money and Beef, DJ Khaled and Hazards. I've actually forgotten how to hit him with that flow. So it's going to be interesting to see if Lowski still has that old sound in him, which I personally think he does. He more than likely just has to get into the meat of things and he'll be back to that old sound. But if he doesn't, I think people will be happy either way with the bodies of work he's going to be putting out in the near future. So moving on to our next story and that is UK rappers potentially getting recalled to jail and now being wanted by police after showing support to the Black Lives Matter protests. So this all started off when Diggy D had posted a picture of himself on Instagram with a plaque that read Black Lives Matter on it which he went to show support to the Black Lives Matter cause. And a few days had passed and which was a couple of days ago and Diggy D had took to Snapchat to say this. I can't speak about Black Lives Matter because apparently it's promoting violence. Police and probation have a problem with me taking a picture holding a sign saying black lives matter they wanted to recall me but instead they made my license conditions worse than they already are probably get a warning for posting this but fuck it this shit's way bigger than me anyway everyone keep doing what you're doing till these pussies show some equality so on top of this as you guys know duchavelli also shared that he was going to attend a black lives matter protest last saturday which of course he never ended up turning up and yesterday Stefan don for you guys who don't know is actually duchavelli's sister took to social media media to share this. My brother is currently wanted by the police, all because he went on Instagram Live and said that he was going to the Black Lives Matter protests in London last Saturday. He's on licence and they want to recall him, that means they could keep him in jail until his licence is finished. He did not even end up going to the protest. Systematic oppression is real and this is totally unfair. These are the reasons we protest, these are the reasons we are hurting, because we are continuously treated unfairly. We protest for equality, freedom and for people to value our lives as much as they value others. Others. What's so wrong with wanting this? I'm so proud of my brother and all of his current achievements. They see him doing well and they're upset because they want all black hood boys to stay in the hood, die or continue to commit crimes so they can profit. Prison is a business. My brother used to fix headphones for Virgin Atlantic in prison and get £8 a week for doing this slave labour. My other brother used to make chairs for DFS in jail but when they come out they can't get a job. Systematic oppression is very much alive and real. Met Police UK how is this okay? Now both of these guys are on license at the moment for different things which I've covered in the past, not so much Duchavelli's but definitely Digger D's, so I'm not going to jump into it but of course if you have certain license conditions which you do break you can get recalled to jail, so if you come out after serving half of your sentence you get put on a license but like I said before if you break those terms that they've set for you you can get recalled to jail. Now I know some people are going to claim it's hypocritical of a UK drill rapper or rapper in general who's 
these lyrics in the past seem like they wouldn't suit the Black Lives Matter message, which of course is up for debate, but we do have to remember that in the UK, everyone is entitled to follow a civil rights movement, no matter who they are, and let's face it, the majority and the message of the Black Lives Matter protests have been peaceful, of course, there has been small groups that have turned violent, but the small group don't represent the whole message of the Black Lives Matter movement and the majority of people that are following these protests. And unfortunately for these two, it seems like they're now being persecuted for that exact reason. But Britain First leader Paul Golding, who is in fact a convicted terrorist by the way, attended the Nationalist March last Saturday and as far as I know, nothing has been brought against him. But just a heads up, if anything does get brought against him, I'll keep you guys posted on that one. But you can see why people are frustrated that yes, if people are going to be getting recalled to prison, then why hasn't a convicted terrorist, who I'm pretty sure isn't actually allowed to turn up to these kind of demonstrations, had anything been brought against him? That's the real question. But moving on to our next story, and it seems like unknown T is once again being very versatile with his sound after this snippet had done the rounds on social media. So Unknown T once again shows why he's one of the best to do it in the UK drill scene versatility wise as it now seems like he's got some new music dropping with Young Ads. Now we've recently seen he has music with Digger D and Millions so I have a feeling that these might all be features on his tape that's dropping real soon which is going to be cold if they are I'm not going to lie. Now there's been talks of Unknown T's music not doing the best numbers wise since he's been released from jail but I say give it a little while because only four songs have officially dropped that being drip drip with v9 squeeze and bus of course fresh home and dumper with m24 and in my opinion i don't even think the numbers he's doing are that bad anyway because a lot of them have hit millions in my opinion that's pretty good i'm not gonna lie but there is some critics out there that are saying that the numbers haven't matched the hype surrounding his release from jail but again i say allow some more music to drop and then judge it but again if you want my personal opinion i don't think unknown t is going anywhere anytime soon and i think his numbers are doing just all right and i am looking forward to more music dropping from him in the near future so so moving on to our last story which isn't drill related but it is rap related and that is Young T and Bugsy securing a feature from DaBaby. Now a remix to their song Don't Rush dropped on the 12th of June 2020 and it's currently only sitting on 82k views but the top comment on the video sums that up to be fair and it reads this is going to blow up when people actually realise it's a thing. So I have been getting advertisements of the song on YouTube but because it's on their own channel rather than GRM or Linkup TV it just doesn't seem like people know about the song and it's a shame really because the baby is one of the biggest artists in america right now so the song should be doing more numbers but again i feel like once people have found out about the remix the song's numbers will go big especially if they can secure some kind of music video together and i'm pretty sure when it gets to that point it will be playing around radio stations all over america but let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below give the video a little like and if you want the latest drill street and music news out of the uk be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell it's been your boy ape honcho and i'm out